I am here with Julie Morgenstern, the leading expert in organizing your life, organizing your world, getting your workout in. And I want to just launch into what are the first steps that someone can take Mm-hmm. When they set a goal, like getting their perfect body or getting their workout in. Yeah. yeah, it's a great question. So I really think the first thing is actually step back and shift your mindset. And when it comes to something like exercise mm-hmm. or getting your body back, absolutely right? You want to really focus on uh, what is the purpose of the exercise. And I actually have found with many clients, instead of it being just about how they look, mm-hmm. vanity, even though it mm-hmm. drives many of us, I actually think not, it's not yeah. a strong enough motivator. I agree with you. But energy and health are. Your goal is to maximize your health mm-hmm. or to live a long life or to have energy to enjoy life. Yeah. You know, in my line of work, people always want to make a major transformation, you know, mm-hmm. which I love. I encourage people to dream big because I've spent 11 years actually figuring out how you can dream big with your body and actually get there. Yeah. But what's the difference between trying to like reinvent an entire lifestyle and reorganizing to achieve that? So you have to reclaim your time. And I think, you know, it gets back to what you do. I mean, you know, getting to the gym and taking care of your body. Yeah, it takes time. It takes time and it takes focus and the ability to pull away from that, like what I call staccato yeah. rhythm, like Staying connected, yeah. disconnect, and then like take it's care of yourself. It's to do that. It's like I'm sure it's going to be very uncomfortable for everyone at home that I know is going to do this now to avoid to the shed email and avoid shed the email. that declutter the email. I and the way to break the email habit is to completely avoid email for the first hour of every day. Yeah, I love that. What a great thing! You actually have a book that's it's called Shed Your Stuff, Change Your Life, and it's really about decluttering Mm -hmm. every, declutter your habits, declutter your schedule, declutter your stuff to make room to change and to enjoy the process of change. And I just want to grab some of your books if that's okay. (laughs) This one, this one's my favorite. I think this is a really ballsy title and I love it. The Never Check Email in the Morning, which is the first one on my list. Um, This is The Shed, The Shed Your Stuff, Change Your Life. Mm -hmm. And another one that for some reason I identify with all of these, but the, the one for teenagers um, organizing teens because you know I was always a very creative teenager and I and I feel like that a lot of creative people suffer from time management and uh, I think for creative people it can feel like being organized mm-hmm. is gonna kill your creativity I had I always, that that I, was my background I was a theater person it's great see that's my and, excuse uh, I was totally I chaotic but you can Good be creative you. and organized and I think when you're organized you can give more and tap deeper into your creativity and and actually produce so much more without ruining your personality but really fueling it i love it thank you so much for sharing with us because it's something that i get asked all the time you know i want the perfect body i want to start the way i think but i have no idea where i'm going to fit it in yep yep time management organization and shedding Mm -hmm. go to her website and she'll teach you how (laughs) 